What's going on YouTube? It's Mid40s Gamer here coming at you with some more Elden Ring content. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to complete the Dialos quest line after patch 1.03 added some new quest phases to the story. The Dialos quest line is available fairly early on, and while it doesn't properly start until you reach Laerna of the Lakes, you'll meet him in all his stoic pride for the first time once you've unlocked access to Round Table Hold. Dialos' story arc is fairly intertwined into Jarbaran's questline, as well as the Tannis questline in Volcano Manor. So let's get ready to see what House Hoslo has to offer, tell Melina you're without a doubt the worst pirate we've ever seen, and get after it. Our story begins after speaking with Melina and gingerly taking her hand, which finally unlocks access to the confines of Round Table Hold. From here we can find Dialos, who stands out in a rather regal set of armor that screams nobility, setting him apart from all the other NPCs utilizing Round Table Hold as a sanctuary. After recognizing you as a newcomer and welcoming you to the Hold, Dialos will mention that he's searching for a loyal house servant of his that's gone missing. It would seem that his servant, who goes by the name of Lanya, has been gone for quite some time, but it's not unusual for her to run off. He'll end his brief encounter by asking you a favor, that if you come across her in your travels, to let him know. The next location we'll come across Dialos is on some sunken building wreckage in Laerna of the Lakes, and as you can see from the map footage, we'll be starting out from the Academy Town Gate site of Grace, which is one of the first few sites of Grace you'll uncover after coming down from the lake-facing cliffs behind Stormville Castle. From the side of Grace, we'll start out by heading north, and just before the steeple that's sticking out of the water, we'll make a left towards the Academy of Rea Lucaria. We'll find Dialos in the middle of the Academy Gate town on some building wreckage, and once we roll up on him, you'll notice that he's found his lost servant, but not in the condition that he would have hoped. After engaging in conversation with him, he'll explain that the recusants who hunt other tarnished out of the Volcano Manor are responsible for this travesty, and he's out for vengeance in the name of House Hoslo's honor. While we know his intentions at this point are to head to the Volcano Manor, the next place we'll really catch up with him is at the Round Table Hold before he sets out on his journey to the Fiery Lands. After traveling back to Round Table Hold, you'll see Dialos in his normal spot, and after a fairly long conversation with him, he'll point you in the direction of Mount Gelmir in the Volcano Manor. If you follow his directions, they are fairly accurate as he explains that Mount Gelmir can be reached by following the old road west from the Dominula Windmill Village. As you can see from the map footage, the Volcano Manor is at the very northwestern portion of the Altus Plateau. Once you enter the Volcano Manor, which is scarier than Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, and Lindsay Lohan put together, We'll head down the hallway and find Dialos hanging out against the back wall of a dining area, which is filled with some rather familiar faces you may have come across in your travels. This also happens to be the area that you'll pick up the letters from Tanith for all your assassination needs. After talking with Dialos here, he'll mention that he's committed to the Volcano Manor, and it seems like he might have drank too much of the Tanith Kool-Aid. The next step will be to progress through the Volcano Manor assassination list, starting in Storm Hill with Old Knight Istvan, whose location will show up on your map as a red circle once you accept the contract. Each time you accept the Volcano Manor contract as you progress, the location of the targets will be marked in the same manner, making them easy to find. After your assassination is complete, you'll be transported back to your own realm, where you'll receive the full-scaled armor set, which as armor goes is fairly decent. After looting up your spoils of war, you can return to the manor and accept your next contract, which will bring you to the Altus Plateau. Here you'll face off against Riley the Idol, and upon his defeat you'll score the Crepus's Vial, which is a talisman that eliminates all movement sounds made by the wearer. The third and final contract is the most important, and you'll have to have progressed to the mountaintops of the Giants, where you'll face down Juno Hoslo, the Knight of Blood. This whip-wielding knight is presumably the older brother of Dialos, but we don't talk about Juno. As invasions go during this questline, this one is quite possibly the toughest, really due to the speed at which his whips inflict bleed. If he doesn't end up feasting on your screams, he'll drop a pretty fancy whip, as well as the complete Hoslo armor set. Once you return to the Volcano Manor with the Hoslo contract complete, it sets the next part of Dialos' questline into motion. Before speaking with Tanith and accepting an audience with Rykard, you'll need to speak with Dialos once more. Once you've exhausted all of his dialogue, which is pretty lengthy and shameful, you can tell Tanith you're ready to meet Rykard. 
It's unclear whether defeating Rykard before talking with Dialos will prevent him from moving to the next location, but we didn't want to take any chances since some quests have been rather finicky as of late. To fully complete the manor quest line, you'll need to defeat this rather annoying boss, and while it's not completely necessary for Dialos to move on to the next location, we're here and he's on our hit list, so he had to go. The next area Dialos can be found in is Jarberg, and as you can see from the map footage, you'll need to travel south from the Artist Shack a bit. And the only way to access Jarberg is by jumping down on the large tombstones that are sticking out of the cliffside. Once in Jarberg, you'll need to have a conversation with the Jar Baron, who'll explain that Dialos has recently come to the village and is acting as the village's potentate. You can find Dialos in a nearby shack, and after going through his dialogue, you'll discover that he's actually quite happy tending to the needs of the pot village. After exhausting his dialogue, you'll need to reset the area by traveling to another side of Grace, as well as passing some time utilizing the past time function. After returning to Jarberg, you'll notice that Jarbaron isn't in his normal spot, and quite a number of pots within the village have been smashed. You'll run into Jarbaron in the middle of the village, and after a brief conversation, he explains that poachers hit the village and that Dialos fought them off. You'll find Dialos nearby, laying in a pool of his own blood, and with his dying breath, he'll ask you if the jars are okay. Once you finish up, Dialos will take his last breath, and you'll need to reset the area again, where you'll find some items to loot up where Dialos was laying. There is a final dialogue choice to the end of this story, but it doesn't seem to have any impact on loot. It just really depends on how you want the story to end. After bringing this story to a close and resetting at the Jarberg side of Grace, you can pick up Dialos' mask along with the Hoslo's pedal whip. Well folks, it looks like we're coming to the end of another Elden Ring video as we put another side quest behind us and head off to the next. We would like to take this time to personally thank you for watching, and if you haven't done so already or you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any new mid-40s gamer content. And if you aren't too busy wondering why it's physically impossible to lick your own elbow, leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know how we're doing. So until next time, just remember, there are 366 dimples on a regulation golf ball, ancient Egyptians slept on stone pillows, and as always, good hunting. Wait a minute, you're still here? The credits are over. Well, as long as you're here, we'll share one little tidbit of additional information as you slog your way through the Diallo story. And you deserve it after folding Rykard faster than that overnight crew at the Gap. Once Rykard is dead and the Volcano Mountain cast and crew go their separate ways, you can actually return to Rykard's boss fight location and find Tannis stuffing her face with what's left of Rykard which seems eerily reminiscent of dinner time at Pankot Palace minus the chilled monkey brains. Once you chop her up faster than an extra in Kill Bill Volume 1, you'll have to face down her bodyguard. In addition to the spell that the knight drops, you can run back to where Tannis was laying and collect her entire armor set. Hope that helps, and as always, good hunting.